Hi, this is Dylan Herricks from Mac Tuts Plus, and in this screencast I'll be showing you how to burn a CD or a DVD from a disk image file. We'll be talking about two types of disk image files, the DMG file that's designed for use in Apple's OS X operating system, as well as the ISO or ISO disk image that's more widely accepted across different operating systems. Now to burn one of these to a CD, the first thing you're going to want to do is to open up Disk Utility. Once that's open, you'll see that any sort of disk or drive is mounted here on the left. So here's my hard drive, and here is my CD drive. And we'll want to actually add the disk image file to this left side in order to interact with it. Now disk image files on OS X are often used as a way to install applications. So I've gone ahead and downloaded Firefox as a disk image file, and I want to burn that to a CD. So all I need to do to get it over here to the left side is actually find it on my computer and then just drag it over. And you'll see that it's added here. Now you can also go up to File and click Open Disk Image and it will add it there to the left. Once it's here on this left side, to burn it to a CD, all you need to do is just click the file and then click Burn here at the top. And it will prompt you to insert a blank CD or DVD that it will then burn to that disk. So once you've inserted the disk, just click Burn, and it will write it to the disk. I'm going to click Cancel so I don't waste a CD. Now the same is true for an ISO or ISO file. So here is a distribution of Linux called Arch Linux that comes as a .iso file. And if I wanted to burn that to a CD to use as a live CD, which is often used in Linux to test out uh, that particular distribution, I can just click and drag that over and add it there to the left, just like I did with the Firefox file. And the same process applies. I just click that ISO file on the left, and then I can click Burn and insert a blank disk, and then click Burn once again to actually write that to a disk. Once again, I'll just cancel that. Now one nice thing about the DMG file type is that you can also use it to store all sorts of files, almost like a USB flash drive. And to do that, you actually want to make a new disk image that you can then put those files into. So you can just click New Image here at the top, and it will ask you to give it a name. So I'll call it Favorite Apps, and then where you want to save it, and then an actual name for the disk image itself. So I'll call it the same thing. Now in the Size Choice box, you have the typical sizes for both CDs and DVDs. So make sure you know the size of the media that you're going to be burning it to. And I'll just choose this 80 minute CDR choice. Next you have the format. So if you're going to use this disk with OS X, then you'll probably want to leave it as Mac OS Extended. But if you intend to take this disk image to a different computer, such as a Windows computer or a Linux computer, you might want to change this to the MS-DOS file format. For now, I'll leave it as this, and then I'm ready to just create this disk image. You'll see that now I have both the disk image and then the drive that it creates where I can actually store things. And so I will just double click to open that, and now I can actually go up to my applications folder, and I can add a few apps to this as my favorite apps. And you'll see that those are copied over to this disk image. And when I'm done, I can actually burn these files to a CD and use that as an archive. So if I exit out of that and I go back to Disk Utility, you'll see that here's my DMG file listed on the left called Favorite Apps. And to burn this storage to a CD, all I need to do is just highlight that DMG and then click Burn at the top and it will give me the same process. It'll ask me for a blank disk, and then I just click Burn, and it will actually write those apps to a disk as a disk image. So this has been how to create a CD or DVD from a disk image file in OS X. Thanks for watching.